Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is quite possibly at this point, at least this week, the dumbest person within the entire Trump administration. Now, before we get into what Mnuchin did this week, let's go ahead and take a look back at his history. He's the guy who, as you remember, took his wife on a uh, government funded private jet to go watch the eclipse from the top of Fort Knox. Taxpayers paid for that trip and he got in a lot of hot water about it. And so this week, knowing that he has a history of kind of screwing over us taxpayers and us consumers, he decided it would be a great idea. It would be great optics for he and his wife to take a visit to the U S treasury where they took a picture of themselves, several pictures, actually holding up giant sheets of $1 bills that now bear Steve Mnuchin's signature because he is the, uh, uh, secretary of the treasury. And as you look at those pictures, it's not just Mnuchin's goofy little face that stands out here. And we'll get more into Mnuchin's uh, past in just a moment but his wife, look at the expression on this woman's face. First, when she sees the money and then when she's holding it up, I mean, for the love of God, this woman looks exactly like a bond villain. And I am sorry. I mean, no disrespect, but Mnuchin, you've got to look at these pictures and understand that this is a woman who does not care about you in the least. Now to quote Kanye, I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but you know the rest. Anyway, back to Mnuchin, this guy posing with the money that now bears his signature. In case you aren't familiar with his history beyond the little Fort Knox eclipse fiasco, he uh, at one point was with Goldman Sachs and as Senator Elizabeth Warren described him, he was the Forrest Gump of the uh, economic collapse in the United States because he always seemed to stumble into these situations, make a hell of a lot of money for himself and screw things up for everybody else. Um, in between Goldman Sachs stints, he was the CEO of a bank called One West Bank, where an investigation detailed his involvement or his bank's involvement, which he was running, in over 1,000 illegal activities during Mnuchin's tenure at that bank. 1,000! He's also the guy who many people remember locked a woman out of her home and we're about to foreclose on it over 27 cents. The woman owed 27 cents and Mnuchin, this heartless piece of crap, decided to lock her out of her home. They were going to take it if she didn't pay 27 cents. And here he is with his super villain wife posing with sheets of dollar bills. When in fact, this man should be in prison. And unfortunately we have Kamala Harris in part to thank for that, who did not prosecute Steve Mnuchin. It wouldn't even take a genius prosecutor at this point. An investigation found that his company, while he was running it, engaged in more than 1000 illegal activities, 1000 individual instances of law breaking while Steve Mnuchin was the CEO of one West bank. And instead of being in prison, he's allowed to be not only treasury secretary, but to walk around freely with his wife and take pictures of his do, uh, uh, stupid, disgusting little face, holding up pallets of $1 bills, never forgetting the fact that he once foreclosed on not just one person, but many people for owing him less than the total dollar amount of that sheet that he is holding up. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.